Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy Tactics Second Read Hardcover Mod, and we a new, a new chapter and a new update. So we're at update 25, uh, update 24. It was it's the same except there's this problem with Rams' speed, so we're just gonna ignore that because I guess he turns into like the Flash. But there's been monsters got their HP. Uh, told you start a brand new file. You'll have an Elder Trant in your party to try out, so you can see how monsters are a little bit better. And um, the Vanguard class. Has some new skills that Ramza doesn't have in his kit, so we're gonna just go look at them and learn them real quick as we're doing that. They have no idea what they do. So we have multi strike. Strike flows with potential successive strikes. Uses weapons range. Ooh. Oh, I'll be taking that. Thank you. Magic weapons wraps your weapons in arcane energy and empower your attack. Thank you very much. Focus inward and restores one one's vitality. Okay. Focus outward and attempt to steal MP from nearby enemies. I'll be taking that and we'll be probably getting that. So, yeah, I turned Weasel into a Vanguard. So, he's got the Dark Knight skills and he's going to be using a mix of his Vanguard. See how that combo goes. I never did read um, the description of this job here last time. Seeing the horrors of Lukavi within the Sacred Stones, he took a strong set of armor and he found Ryle Vane's castle with it. A renewed sense of responsibility. He vows to hunt down every sacred stone in existence and devise a method of their disposal. His leadership is now is needed now more than ever, and evil is to stand a chance to recover from the war alliance. So now he can equip blades, guns, and bows. That see, I see, I didn't even know that. Now I'm not in that job right now, but might be something. To, might be time to. Yeah, almost time for him to try that out. Man, we'll keep him as a Miss Weaver because it still needs get some more important skills. Turn Musadio to the Dragon Knight. There's some new stuff in the shop. We're going to show Tana here that has 21 attack power. Gives us some M8. And we're going to try out the Curse Ring. I want to see how good it is. And you know that um, his uh, Tides of War builds on this M8. And the Curse Ring gives almost the same stats as the, uh, what's that? Um, the Roll of the Lords. Just, except it doesn't give you the move with that poison she's still rocking this i noticed that the arcana stage of stats are kind of low she's getting carried by the mantle of lords right now so we might want to just get the final skills and maybe change into another class i do have do i have um i do have no charge one so that might be an option too but for now i think i want to do a chapter four is try to find some monsters to poach and see if we can get some good stuff out of them but for now, we're going to test out this new um, Vanguard job. But first, let's go check the shop. I already bought everything. I'm kind of broke. As you see, I have 77 guild. So I named her some better uh, bet daggers. Poison. I think oh, most daggers can look poison. There's the there's the ice prism. It has a chance to cast ice if you hit somebody with it. Probably pretty good because, you know, most classes are balanced with magic and attack. So... Ice damage might be pretty good on top of that if you get that, that proc. I think they all have explosive shot. Then we have these armors. I would definitely get some more. Usually moving the slow. I think, it was, I think the crystal helm was blind before. Just slightly more HP and MP. And then we go down to down to here. We got the Thieves attire. Moving really slow as well. You got the Vantage shirt that gives you transpair at the start. Which is definitely better than the Vantage uh, Mantle. Getting the vanilla. And you get this really good armor here that I got. That boosts all elements except for Dark and Holy. Really good for a, a mage. I got that on my candy stage, but I might put that on some other characters once I get some more money as I try to find some monsters. But for now, let's go into Douglas Pass and see what kind of team is fight waiting for us here. As we try these new uh, Vanguard skills. There's been some changes in the descriptions too. Oh, did I? I also got this walking stick that has a, a cool description. I haven't I checked it yet. Knock them in their head with a stick. They're gonna have a mark for your stick. Your stick, your stick, your stick is better than bacon. Mwahaha, <laughs> they can't touch your stick. Mwahaha, <laughs> they want your stick. They, they count their coconuts with your stick. They're gonna fill the raft with your stick. Your stick, your stick, your stick is better than bacon. And then it loops over, and then we can just see the stats here. Uh, 16 weapon power and 
15 of 8. So it's got a pretty good pretty good weapon power for it right there. So let's bring the team in there. Get you in there. I was like, I know I had, when I saw that, when I was checking the stats, I, I knew I had to show that off for sure. <laughs> I was like, what? Okay. I guess, I guess it's, I, I mean, it's a good stick, so I, I guess they would probably want it. But, uh, let's see. This map is usually just trivialized most of the time. Nice little filler map. Oh, this is interesting. As long as we're here, you cannot pass. There's a big, like, someone split the mountain in half. So I guess range is going to be the name of the game here. Oh, look, he's here. Oh, shit, he's here. He's just like a, a hit and guess. My man is Louis is on the team. I was like, I, I, thought, he, I thought he was about to do his own thing. Glad to have you. It's a nice surprise. But we're about to get bombarded with a bunch of shit ton of magic here. While this guy hisses with his fire books. Hit him once because he just dies the second one. Oh no, you don't. They don't kill him. Oh boy. Comes the other occultist. Probably gonna go for something. Oh, going for the preach, going to raise the the faith. On this, I mean the spirit. Interesting choice. Now we can actually see what. Um, whoops. Let's see, I think I read this before. When we first fought him. Well, let's take a look at his skill set here. Blackout deals major dark damage. Major light. Okay. Holy Mega Flare, what the hell? He's got that might be Bahamut. Thunder Spire, okay, that's the in the Dragon Knight. Got green. He's got Death Soul Bind at 350. So he can do that with go survive half charge. How about the and these are Does he have non-charge though? Okay. Hold up, my man might be, uh, can't really hot down, but we can start, what, what, what spell is charged on him? We got a Blizzaga charged target on him, so we'll have him come over here. That's, what is this, is that's, oh, that, it must be single target, so I guess we'll go for the instant blackout. Right, it's a uh, occultist, so he's gonna heal. But we'll hit, we'll hit your front in the back. Oh, they got Gaia's Wrath. Well, we're gonna have to heal him for sure. He's gonna he's gonna die really badly, unless you know Ramsey comes up here and stops that guy from casting it. Kind of left himself open for a casual 500. Man, this reaver is so crazy, man. Especially when you have an endgame equipment like this. It runs us high, high, higher stats than normal. Oh. What are you doing, monster um, mage? Is that like a volley? All right, Mr. Dragon Knight, what you got? Looks like today's it must be some kind of heal. Dude, oh, the dude we kill has uh, re rays, so those two guys right there, two guys got captain's rings. Yeah, he can take that just fine. Oh, thank you. I'll take that. Now, how is the range of uh, the high priestess? Yeah, we just dropped down on his head right now. So he doesn't kick the bucket. I don't have to deal with that silly thing called charge times right now. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What we can do is come over here, kind of gather ourselves over here. We can drop this tide to fate. Oh my God, Mustadio. 
that, that curse ring, man. He is gonna take poison damage though, so he's on a time limit, but damn, for these short fights, man, that is a deadly combo. Jeez. <laughs> Insane. Yep, we just, just making quick work. Why don't we all uh, try uh, multi strike? Uh, let's just make sure it, it has, it uses the range of the weapon, right? So I guess we just get to this guy's side. Hopefully, he does have a height problem. We go try multi strike. Ooh. One. No, it looks like still pretty good. Can't really complain about that damage. Go for this. Actually, I want to go for the dance here. See if he dodges it. And I think that's a dead uh, dragon knight. Peace. All right, dude's getting back up. He's probably gonna heal. Yep, he's got choco cure. Oh, thanks, buddy. I didn't take any damage, but appreciate it nonetheless. The man's hopping up. I cast and swallow an abyss on himself, I take a guess. Move closer so I can like um, do the holy holy light, whatever it's called. And that man is out. What's it called again? White light. Hmm, we could try like let's try out screen. It, does it do again? It oh it heals. It's kind of like a chakra. I mean, why not? Let's just see it. All right, same animation, but it does the chakra effect. Not bad. Well, Ramza has it now too. But you guys got to stop leaving yourself open can't just cast spells in front of Ramza like this. Do you not want to take like 500 damage? 1,000 if you could survive? But just don't learn. Damn, look at look at that. She has a Nora height. So look at that. Coming, coming into play. Normally, I, that's so rare. I feel like hitting you with a water jet. So I'm going to hit you with a water jet. Take it. Now it's just that guy with the re-raise. And Ustadio's gonna get his turn. Why don't we uh, check his attack power here too? That's not that's pretty good too. You taught me this, so let me show you how to do it. Yeah, I can see it it's good for short battles like this, but like I have to constantly just keep him healed up. Actually, he's undead, so you can't even do that. It was fun trying that out, though. Yeah, you know, I got to do a little JP check because I don't think I actually check learning anything from other characters here. What do we want to get for Ramza? That'd be kind of worth it. Maybe like Secret Fist. You get like Weapon Counter, I guess. But I like having her using like Magic Retaliation. Yeah, I just gotta get that mana funnel. I'll try to get that before the next episode. I'm trying to get you to get fly, so I might change to that. And then we have the Arcana Sage. Still needs a little bit of work. Might drop that. Learn the skill for free. Get some other stuff here. We can get like Chakra, Asuna. He doesn't really, he already has these two on his other tip. Take the mana shield actually. It's a little bit harder to kill. I am going to take off this curse ring now because it's going to cause me problems in the future. 
Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll give you. I don't want to give you something that gives you L A. That's like the best thing I got. So you know, what? might have to just wait until I f might have to check the shop or something for like that. That that attack is kind of crazy. I think we'll finish most maps before we. You know what? We're keeping the curse ring for now. But for now, I think we're just going to end it here. Cause I got I got some monster hunting to do and some JP to get. All right, so we're back. I know this episode was too short, so did some fights, got some money, upgraded everybody's armor. So I'm going to show you, I was trying to look for some monsters, mostly I'm interested in the Barvania Volcano and I did run into something interesting. So there's a monster I want to try to recruit to my team and also poach. So I'm going to do this map twice, but I think this time we're going to just try to re uh, recruit the monster that shows up this time, hopefully. I saw, I was like, yes, that's the kind of guy I might have some good stuff and I might want to try out. So let's get in here. Everyone has poached monsters. I, my performer has uh, monster magic, so she can do monster taming on the particular monster that I'm trying to recruit here. Hopefully it's actually here. If, I, if, it's, if it doesn't show up, I'll let you know what it is. So we're gonna come from this side. We have some high level ghosts, but I can't really see because yes, it's there. So this is the guy. Let me just interrupt them. Hey, 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 I said interrupt. I want the King Behemoth that's over there. This guy. I want to try to recruit this guy and see what they got. And poach some of these, uh, maybe poach a spirit or two. Mostly I'm here for this guy. I might just kill. I might po try to poach some of these ghosts so they'll come back and stuff. But other than that, this is the guy we want to try to recruit. So let's do it. See what kind of crazy attack power it has. Well, we're like a little bit, so everybody's like 25, 26 now. We'll just come over here. We'll just meet them. I guess we can like meet them over here. Probably even summon. I doubt it'll kill everybody in like one shot. Eh, well, why not? Need to soften them up anyway. This is no, he's not. You don't got no kind of sleep touch. This is not the other. This is the, that's the other mod. I already know you have nothing interesting. So we can actually go for Lucky Strike again. I actually got multi strike. I actually got unlucky the first time. It is it says potentially multiple hits. Well there we go, we got one. that first time we used we got the one hit unfortunately. This time we got two. But the, the second time we used I got like four attacks, which is pretty nice. So you are gambling for a lot of damage here. Over here. We will soften up this choke bolt with a thunder slider. And we'll come over here and just uh raise his brave. Why not? With the encouragement. Just to make it easier to uh, poach some of those ghosts. Cause they're not gonna they're not gonna try to get close to us now we Mustadio can heal with chakra which is nice so he's not gonna really gain that much he can gain he heals like 150 he loses like 139 every turn there's no way it's gonna kill everybody right these monsters have like over 400 HP now so Yeah, as I thought. Perfect for anyone else to just come up there and hit them, unless you want to heal each other with Ice Soul. Oh, going for the revival. Perfect. Take the bait. Oh, wow. Is that all you got, dude? I 
Uh oh. That's some that's some that's some damage. If the Choco gets his turn, he might drop a Choco cure, which is a little annoying. You know, I'm gonna poach you so you don't uh, get don't have a chance to bring you back up again. Uh, of course you dodge both hits. What are the odds of that? Alright, you're gonna hit yourself with Ice Soul. Just to prolong the battle a little bit longer. I think she's the only one that doesn't have it. He's, he's gonna go. Connie and then Weasel. Mad far away. See, I wanna I wanna poach you there. Yeah, we're gonna go after the chocobo again. So I uh, try to hit you with the full 100 percent I like those odds. Who are you casting soul by now though? Oh oh Mustadio for the insta kill. Oh there's an insta kill, but there's a lot of damage. See if I can do enough damage with my sword. Oh yeah. Get out of here. Is have him chakra and retreat. I think he's pretty much out of commission now. Too much damage to him. Look at that. Like he gained like 9 HP. Here, take take the bait. Go get this see if we can get this King Bahamut. Stop doing that, please. 66% 6 chance. Shouldn't take too long with those kind of odds. Even if I miss here here. Nice, got it. Ah, uh, don't be a little bitch. Get back over here, man. Going for the soul bind. Jesus, man. You got any kind of other attack? No? Alright, Chocobo's back up once again. Will you not dodge my 60%? That's what I was trying to do in the first place, so they wouldn't do some shit like that. Teleport all the way down to it. There to revive you. You ain't got no kind of like giggle flare or anything, dude. Nothing. Putting that oil on doesn't really do anything for you. You have shitty equipment, so I'm just gonna kill you outright. Maybe even bait your friend to come down. Looks like the bait worked. It's going actually she's he's mad because I killed him. Going for the attack. The only thing is that I want to poach this one. I don't know if the behemoth might kill him. And he is one tile short in reaching it. Damn it. Somebody get to him. Pop the chakra so you don't get KO'd. JP2 for you, so that's not too bad. Could, I could try to recruit you, but I don't think I'll, I'll actually use you too much. Yeah, I'll just drop another encouragement. Why not? That's all right. I got to do this map twice. Oh, he's going to kill. The only problem is now he's kind of in the way, so I can't really do that. Ah, oh, man. You just had to get your turn. Next time. I'll, I'll poach you uh, next time cast this bolt because we'll be here all day
easy enough. Let's just, just check this king behind, I guess. Add to the team. Doesn't, doesn't have like stab up or anything. Cause that was just his regular raw re attack. Gotta have some skills, man. You're king behemoth. Oh, I think so. Oh, no, you have nothing. All right. I I think you don't really have anything at all. So you're just going to, uh, just going to get rid of you. Yeah, man, you're kind of like unfinished. So I guess we're not using that. That's why you only did that. You was a whole bunch of ass. You just, you have no skills and do like 150. There's no use for you. You're just going to be for poaching, so I'm gonna go poach this guy and then be all the enemies, and then I'll let you know next time what I get. That's just a little extra fight, a little extra content. Cause that we finished that the goggle of pass super quickly. Uh, getting close to getting the final some skills here. So now we're gonna end it for real this time. So. Come back to the channel. I keep bringing it to you. Like, comment, subscribe, and see you.